Yo, what is up guys? Stellboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So this weekend we have a very good fight between David Benavidez and Demetrius Andrade. Fight takes place at 168, super middleweight. It's actually a pay-per-view in America. Not sure what channel it's on in the UK. But regardless, it's a, it's a fight I'm really, really looking forward to. And quite frankly, the card itself is actually pretty good as well. On the undercard, you have Subrio Matias defending his IBF super lightweight belt against Shawajan Ergashev. If you know, you know. That's going to be a great fight. Hector Luis Garcia is defending his WBA super featherweight title against Lamont Roach. Good fight. Sergey Lipinets is fighting Michelle Rivera. Good fight. There's some good fights on the undercard. But also, the undercard features the return of Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo, of course, has been out of the ring for two years. Last fought in June of 2021 against Juan Montiel. And in that fight, let's be real, Jamal Charlo didn't really impress. Wasn't a great performance. He's been out since then uh, due to a litany of, in, uh, of, of issues. I think injury, mental health issues, blah de blah de blah And here we have it, he finally returns to the ring over two years later. Somehow, this guy still holds the WBC title. He's not even defending it on the undercard. Uh, he's fighting Jose Benavidez Jr., the brother of David Benavidez. Bear in mind, Jose Benavidez started his career at 140, I believe. Then he went to welterweight fought Terence Crawford. And these days, he's made his return. Bear in mind, Benavidez himself had long spells of inactivity due to being shot. blah de blah de blah He's back now. He's fighting at like 154 and 160. So yeah, ben Jose Benavidez Jr. way back when was viewed as a promising prospect. Never really panned out. And he's just really being used now as a name, as an opponent. So this fight is what it is. It's designed as a comeback fight for Jamal Charlo. It's designed for him to look good because let's be honest, Jamal Charlo should be beating he should be beating Benavidez Jr. very decisively, as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, I mean it's disappointing really because if he's coming the WBC granted Jamal Charlo time uh because of his mental issues. Uh they said they would give him as long as he needed. Well He's obviously now in a good state to fight mentally. So why is he not defending his title? Carlos Adames has been the WBC interim champion for a little while now. Picked up a couple of good wins. He beat Darov Yenchenko. Uh, he beat Montiel in far more decisive fashion than Charlo. He stopped him really quickly. Why is Charlo not being ordered to defend against Adames? Which would be a good fight in my opinion. Why is he not being forced to defend against Adames? Why is he now, after having two and, nearly two and a half years out of the ring, with no mandatories, with WBC's good graces, now he's back, why is he allowed to take a non-title fight while holding onto the WBC title? Middleweight is dead as it is, and, you know, decisions like this just makes it even worse. It makes the landscape even worse. You've got a guy who hasn't defended his title in two and a half years. And on his return, he's not defending it. So by, by the time he does defend it, if he defends it, it's going to be like three years since he last defended that belt. That is shocking. Absolutely shocking. If Jamal Charlo wants this sort of comeback fight after a long time out, fair enough. Vacate the title, though. Vacate the title, maybe the sanctioning bodies could do something, elevate Adames to full champion, make Jamal Charlo the Emeritus or whatever it's called, and then when he's ready, Adames versus Charlo. That would have been a great solution, but no, the WBC in their wisdom just decide to hold up the division. And let's be honest, I, I, don't, believe, I don't believe you'll see Jamal Charlo defend that belt anyway. I think what they're doing here is, you know, they're putting Jamal in there with Jose Benavidez, the brother of David Benavidez. We know the result of this fight. Unless Jamal Charlo is completely, utterly shot to bits. And bear in mind, 
Jose himself is not what he was. He's going to win this fight, right? Jamal's going to win this fight, and he'll win it quite well, I'd imagine. They're going to try and set up Jamal Charlo versus David Benavidez. Obviously, David Benavidez is a 168-pounder. I think Benavidez beats Andrade, and, you know, Benavidez versus Charlo would be a big fight. It would be a fight in which generates interest, and that's what Benavidez is looking for. That's what the PBC are looking for. Benavidez potentially uh, is a money man. Um, in the in the coming years, especially if he fights Canelo, that's a massive fight. So they're going to be looking to build Benavidez up, and I think that's what they're doing with Jamal Charlo on the undercard. They're they're fattening him up for Benavidez, but that's all well and good. But vacate the title, vacate the WBC title. I would have no issue with this Benavidez fight, with this Jose Benavidez fight, if Charlo just vacated the WBC. But here we are, I mean, Jamal Charlo, I, the WBC make it up as they go along. Um, certain fighters, mandatories are called straight away, no questions asked. Whereas other fighters can seem to hold on to titles forever without any mandos being called. It's funny how it works. But yeah, it's a shame. It really is a shame um, what's going on in the middleweight division. The WBC are not helping the uh, situation as of right now. It become it, the WBC title right now is um, you can't fight for it because Jamal Charlo's holding it hostage. He literally is holding that title hostage. Honestly, for me, the time has come, and quite frankly, it come a long time ago, where the WBC need to step in and just elevate Carlos Adames. Um, that's that's how I see it. Because I, I again, I don't think you, I don't think you'll see Jamal Charlo at 160 again. I don't think he'll defend his title. I don't think he'll fight his mandatory Carlos Adames, and I certainly don't think he'd unify against the likes of Yanebek. So, just just right this situation, right this wrong, and move on. It's been far too long now, and it's it's just that simple. It's just that simple. But yeah, the fight itself is what it is. Jamal Charlo is back against Jose Benavidez, a fight in which he needs to look good in. Let's be honest, he's been out of the ring for such a long time. He needs to put on a great performance. He needs to stop Benavidez. He needs to do it impressively to get people interested again. Because right now, I have no interest in Jamal Charlo. I, I wonder what state he's going to be in when he comes back. Because, again, I wasn't impressed with his last fight two and a half years ago against um, Montiel. And he wasn't no great shakes either, Montiel. He wasn't great. And we saw that against Adames. So yeah, we'll see what ha we'll see how Charlo looks, and we'll see what the future is. But yeah, needs to vacate that title, needs to be stripped, whatever. Share your thoughts below, Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.